What's up guys? Carlos here again. I'm going to show you how to do the front brakes on a 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe today. First thing you got to do is obviously lift up the car. Uh, at least the two front wheels at the same time. Remember to use uh, jack stands. I have a video on that. I'll show you the link on that also. Once you got the car up, you got to take the wheel off. You need to use a flathead to pry off the cap and then use half inch with a 22 millimeter socket to take the lug nuts off. Once you get the wheel off, you want to do a quick inspection on the rotor. Uh, look at the finish. This one has a bit of a mirror like finish on it and glazing. It's not going to matter because I'm replacing the rotors and the pads. I'm doing an upgrade. You always want to make sure that uh, this is a nice smooth finish. If not, you may want to reface the rotors. Now, to get the rotors off, we're going to have to remove the bracket and the caliper. So, I'm going to come back here. What I would do is remove this bottom one bolt right here. And then you're going to remove the two bracket bolts, which is that guy down there and right up here this guy right here okay you don't need to remove this one because you will slide it out you'll see what I'm talking about Once you got those bolts off, you're gonna get a flathead and you're gonna separate the caliper from the bracket by prying like this. Okay, I need both hands. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, so you got everything off. Got the bracket off. As you can see the old pads Still had a lot of life. Not a lot, but almost half. When you put the caliper, take it off. Don't let it hang on this. This is made out of rubber and you can tear it. So just, you know, rest it on the top here or rest it somewhere, you know, up here. Just make sure that there's no tension on this rubber hose. Um, this is a good time to check the seals on the caliper. Make sure that they're not torn. If they are, you should probably replace them or replace the caliper. Make sure that your slides are not corroded, pretty well looped up. There's one slide on here. The other one is, I took it off, so it's hanging out right in here. Pull this bad boy out, check it too. But we're going to loop these up also before we put it back together. put that in there for now all right so before we start uh, putting the new brake pads on or anything, we're going to replace all the brackets all the rubbers everything most brake pad kits come with all of the stuff in it and you should change it I mean they're here you would hate to have to come back in here to change any of these little things because you were lazy so Here's all the hardware, it's just a matter of clipping them in and clipping them off. Same thing with the rubber seals. And then we can uh, lubricate our slides, which they give us some nice lubrication here. If your brake pad kit does not come with the brake pads, you probably bought a cheapy brand or an economic pack. You should get all the extra stuff or just you know, pick the next spot up in brake pads. Don't get the cheap silver ones. Spend a little more money and it'll come with everything you need. These are the rotors, which I already mentioned. I was upgrading. You do not need these. I'm just, I like, I prefer slaughter and drill because they do a lot of highway driving. And uh, 
I have a lot of warp issues from overheating my uh, rotors. I'm gonna change them like every year, so this will prolong the life a bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and change out all these things, put this rotor on, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so pretty much I put the new rubbers on. All I did was uh, get a screwdriver in there and pry them out. Each one of these, right? Put the new hardware. Now the slides. I'm gonna clean these with the rag. Like so. Clean just like that. Then I'm gonna get the grease and I'm just going to apply a small bead. Just like that. Get this dry spot. Grab my finger, rub it in a little bit. Perfect. Then I'm gonna grab the bracket. And I'm gonna put it right in. Spin it. And I'm gonna do that with each one. Make sure that they're nicely lubricated. Once you get your new rotor on, I don't know if I should before, but the torch right here, you gotta remove it to get the rotor off. Sometimes it takes a little whacking. Make sure if you hit it with a hammer, that you hit it only right here so that you don't cause this to warp at all for any reason. Once you get the new rotor on, before we mess with the caliper at all, let's put the brake bracket on, which were the two bolts that we took off earlier, and just slide this bad boy on and bolt her out. Once you get your brake bracket on, you can go ahead and slide your brake pads right into place. You just put one tab in at a time. There are two different types of brake pads. One is meant to go on the back side, the other one's meant to go on the front side. The difference really is that the front one has a, a slit for this piece here as where the back one does not. It's a solid straight line as you can see there. So that's how you tell which one goes to the back and which one goes to the front. Once you have that done, what we need to do next is go to the brake caliper and push the pistons back. Now, I have a special tool I use for this. It's pretty cool. You can just put, pump this thing and go, but many people don't have this. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with the cheapy C-clamp that you can get at Home Depot, Harbor Freight. I think I got this one at Fast. It might've even been a gift. I don't even remember anymore. But I'm gonna show you how to use this. Uh, it's pretty simple. You're gonna need one of the old brake pads. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna place it right there. Then you're gonna sandwich those two together like that and start twisting. So there it is. You're gonna just keep twisting and twisting. And little by little, you'll see the piston start to collapse inwards right in here. Once you get this brake pad, brake pad here almost completely flush to here, you're gonna take the C-clamp off time. So this is the end result. You got the brake pad, you can see that it's very close. You can see that the piston back here is almost flush. Now what this does is it gives the caliper enough room to fit those new fat brake pads in. So now when we slide the caliper in, it should go in with ease. So I got that C-clamp off. You can see my slide is already nice and lubricated. So I'm just gonna put it into the slide here like this, nice and straight. Push it all the way in and then Flip her down. And usually what stops it is the other slide down here. So you gotta push her in so that it can slide in place like that. See how easy that went in? If for any reason the caliper does not fit in, it's probably because the pistons aren't all the way back. So you gotta take it off, put the brake pad back in, C clamp, and uh, tighten it more. Now it's ready for the bolt, and then go put the wheel back on. Once you put that bolt back into place, you're pretty much done. You want to make sure you get a rag, a clean rag, and clean off the rotor, whether it's brand new or old. It matters not. Clean them up nicely, put the wheel back on, and you're going to follow the exact same steps that I showed you on this video for the other side. Everything is pretty much the same. And then after that, what you're going to do is the varnishing uh, procedure of the brake pads, and I will show you how to do that on a completely different video. I uh, will post the link of that video on the comment section once it becomes available. Okay, till next time, guys.